What else do I want? Yeah, get higher medical and science skills. Do I have another perk? Not yet. So I need to return to Silas. And return to Ludwig. I'll, I'll return to Ludwig. They really hope he gives me a good chunk of ammo to replace what I just burned through on that robot. I need a shock weapon or something if I'm going to deal with more robots. I am very glad there seems to be no... Re a reduction? No, um, restriction on sprinting. You can just sprint forever. Unless, of course, you hit the melee button by accident, like a doofus. Hi. Bring us honor, soldier. I brought you honor already, now give me my money. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Fold its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. You're a bit crazy, aren't you? You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike. Please tell me it's a shock weapon of some kind. Hearts. Cantina lavatory behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. <laughs> Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Alright. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay. He's probably already found it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, let me actually make that my active. Oh, that. Okay. Die robot. There we go. Excellent. I want to wait until I have a little bit more ammo and maybe some armor and better weapons before I go get that medicine. I've actually heard that melee in this game is very good and it could be very interesting to do a melee run, like a dumb brute run. Low intelligence, high melee skills. Low temperament. Because apparently that's viable. Yes, I've already used that tooltip before. A couple of times. Now, here's hoping Ludwig's bundle is actually in there. All right. Oh, that little twanginess. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. Devitt's folk hadn't abandoned. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be a weapon, Ludwig. All right, Barkeep, you got work for me? Barkeep. I don't know you. Well, I'd like to know you. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Something going on here I should know about? And what a fine establishment. I definitely will always say charm in this situation. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. <laughs> hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. 
I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. Tell me about your problems. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Yeah, sure. Fine by me. Coming right up. I gotta actually pay for it? God damn it. I thought I charmed my way into her heart, but no. Well, if I want a drink, I gotta sell some shit. Um... Dehydrated water. I don't even have enough for that. I don't have enough for anything. Okay, I'm broke. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. <laughs> she sounds so bored that I love it. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. Oof. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. Hmm, so you had a dream of being a scientist. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you going to pay your tab? <laughs> and would you like another round of cold refreshing zero G? Asking questions is the foundation of science. The best scientists ask too many. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. Sure. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. You're also an asset that they don't care about. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? Oh boy. Uh, what is my story? What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. I don't work for any company. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. <laughs> I like her. What if I told you I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> on top of a guy. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. <laughs> Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. Marauders, probably. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Hmm, sounds like you're afraid to go out. Let me make something clear. Spacer's Choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. All right. Suppose we've all got jobs to do. And be satisfied with our lot in life. 
I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. All right. I know there's something with deserters, but eh. Hi. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... <laughs> where am I again? Uh... Edgewater. Edgewater. Jewel of the Vale. May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh... What's it called? Saltuna. Productivity. Oh, okay. That's the one. Yep, that's us. Productive. Shouldn't you be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries... Oh, and you suffer. drink your injuries away, I see. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> uh, you sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. <laughs> I like that. I love this guy, but... Uh, too bad that's the rest of his conversation. Hello. Uh, it's hard to see their names sometime. So where was I? Oh yeah, I gotta give Silas his fees. Or... The, yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna run up to Silas, give him the fees. And then go to the crazy guy at the spaceport. Spacer's chosen, oh my lord. Alright. There, Silas. Got your fees and an IOU. I have a feeling you won't be too happy about the IOU, but... Fancy threads. That's some kind of hibernation suit. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Hoping for something more tangible. Hmm. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Excellent. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Well then. Yeah? Let's see. Okay. Uh. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Huh. <laughs> Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. <laughs> if you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to go back to this menu to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. 
Let me know if you find anything. All right, see you around. Next up on my list of to dos, die robot. And then I think I'll go to Stranger in a Strange Land before doing that medicine quest. Let's pop a save here. It's dangerous outside the city after all. <clears throat> Sorry about the sniveling again. I am sick, but I could not wait to play this game. Hello, housekeeping. Okay, there's no one there. Yoink. All right, what's your secret weapon? Bring us honor, soldier. Found that package. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. Okay. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. <laughs> Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode <gasps> from the boss, Reed Thompson. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. All right. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Well then. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Seems reasonable. Well, excuse me. <laughs> what I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. <laughs> I love it. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Oh, how nice. Oop, workbench time. So if I, no, not the sawed off. Light assault rifle, install mod. Magazine changes to we weapons damage type to shock. Nice. Still uses the heavy ammo, which I don't have any of, which makes me very unhappy. Uh, you know, I'll pop the silencer on this. Oh, I can't. What if I could pop the silencer on the shotgun? No. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Guess these basic weapons won't allow you to put um, um, modifications on anything but the magazine. Okay, for journal. I do have to speak to Reed anyway for the power regulator, I believe. Alright. Um, can I see my bits from in here or no? Is that the bits up there? The 464? Because if so, I can buy a lot of ammo with that. Yep, 
I do have a decent chunk. Link. All right, so TNL seems to make shock weapons. Ooh, hunting rifle. Ooh. Weapon range, nice. A rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, and a machine gun. No, I think I will burn through the money for that. They seem to be exactly the same. What else we got? Light pistol, meh, sawed off, saber, eh. And what else we got? Oh, that's my cell screen. Huh. Oh, it's a triple barrel. Oh, so it's a hand cannon. Burst of plasma bolts. Huh. Now, if only I had a thousand bits. Well, that assault rifle is better than mine. Eventually, that could be a thing, but. As much ammo as I can. Okay, and then. Or to equip this, please. There we go. Pistol, hunting rifle, sawed off, and assault rifle. Ooh, it's got a scope. I love it. Nice. Alright. Now we're cooking with gas. In the infamous words of Jack Septi guy, now you're sucking diesel. Pretty sure I botched the way he would say that. <clears throat> Still fighting off that cold and it's kind of brutal. I want to go for four hours. I'm going to have to take a break probably at an hour and a half. Just to move around a little, maybe get something to eat, a can of soup or something. Alright, so now I gotta go to the cannery, I believe. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes up. Ah, okay. That elevator's pretty high up. Whip out my shotgun in case I need to blast some fools. Shouldn't have to. I love that quest name. Die, robot. Any food, it cooks. Yeah, but Bess, I mean, the cannery cooks in sealed cans. Exact time, exact temperature. The food swells during cooking, bursting the cans. So change the time or the temperature. There's no controls for that. I'd have to dig into her guts, rig all manner of bypasses. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. She did. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Can you read? I was told I, I should talk to you. 
outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs and I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Ooh, I like those words. Let's... You want me to do something for you before you'll help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Yeah, that's There's exactly what a businessman would say. Botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned. There are mechanicals there. I already know that. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise. I would never have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. They're going to shoot at me, aren't they? I <laughs> charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. <laughs> My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. All right. What if she doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Hmm. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Oh, okay. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. Farty Holcomb is cute too, so definitely want her coming along. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so. I'm all set. You really need hey, hairpins with your hair like that? Come on, girl. To you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. 